Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I kind of wanted to do, um, kind of like a story time. It's about the time that I hid my pregnancy, um, in high school for six months from my family, who I lived with. And you're thinking like, what, bitch? Like, how do you hide a whole ass pregnancy for six months? Like, how does that work? Bitch, don't underestimate me. <laughs> so, how it all started. Dun, 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 dun. So when I was a freshman, um, I had got pregnant. Um, I was 14 at the time. I know, I know, I know, I know. Because my parents were so strict, I was. It was not an option to tell them. Well, I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna do all this stuff. Um, I even thought of abortion. You know, I, I've never told anyone this, but there's something called a judicial bypass, and. Um, if you believe that there's a reason why an adult cannot know that you're pregnant, you can go and go to the court and request to get a judicial bypass and explain your reasoning and um, you can get an abortion uh, before you, you turn 18. So I went to the court. I was there for hours. I was there for a long ass time. And then I, I finally was in front of um, a judge and they asked me, do you want anyone to represent you? Do you want, like, an attorney? We have someone here. And I was like, no, I'll do it myself. Like, I was super, like, independent. Like, no, I brought this upon myself. Like, I'm gonna take care of it myself. And they're like, all right, uh, what's your reasoning? It was There was domestic abuse in my household. So I told them, I can't tell my parents because blah, blah, blah. There's an, an There was an open domestic violence case in my family. I just want to take care of it by myself and then live my life. That was it. So I went and I got it. They gave me like a paper and it was basically like if you show this to the abortion clinic that you go to, um, they'll let you have an abortion without being 18. At that time, I think I was like two months pregnant already. Um, I didn't even know the deadline. I didn't know anything, but something in me just didn't. I, I, I'm pro-choice. Like to this day, I'm pro-choice. I'm a pro. I've always been pro-choice, um, but I don't know. I just couldn't bring myself to do that. First, pregnancy rumors started like right when freshman year started, like over the summer. People were like, like "Oh yeah, you're just pregnant." <laughs> like yeah, you're just pregnant. She wears hoodies. Bitch, what? Like I would wear hoodies, and people would think I was pregnant. It was like a small rumor. Like only a few people thought. And I was like, okay, like, people are really, like, I was like, who the fuck is saying this shit? Like, who is saying this? So, I was like, whatever. Like, that's fucking stupid. Um, and then, <laughs> these bitches decided my fate for me. Because I did get pregnant. Like, I was super into now. Even though I wasn't getting my period, I was like, no. <laughs> no fucking way. No way in hell. No way in hell. Um, then I remember I was in PE. So, I would never miss a day of PE. Like, I would just dress out every single day for PE and my overachieving ass. The uniform was red basketball shorts and a white tee, but I would wear a rash guard because when I used to play uh, softball, I would wear a rash guard under my uniform. And that's how, just what I felt most comfortable in when I was like being active. So I'd wear a white rash guard, which is <laughs> rash guards are skin tight. And I would wear my blue, ba my uh, red basketball shorts. So I was walking one day because I think I was just talking to my friend. And we were walking and some boy, his like ball like goes by my feet. He came up to me like his ball had like dribbled all the way next to me and I picked it up and I gave it to him. And he looks at my stomach and he goes, oh, you're pregnant, right? And I was like, no, get your fucking ball. And then one of the other times that someone had um, mentioned it um, about me being pregnant um, was this girl. This fucking girl, she was going around telling people that I was pregnant. And I was like, no, I'm not. Like, I'm not pregnant. It, like, I was so in denial. I'm like, I'm not pregnant. Why do people keep talking shit? So I go up to her in the locker rooms and I'm like, why do you keep telling people that I'm pregnant? I'm clearly not pregnant. So you need to fucking stop. Who the fuck do you think you are telling people that I'm pregnant? I was so fucking, I was so dumb. Like, I was clearly big as hell, like getting bigger. Um, and at that point, I was like, you know what? I just need to wear hoodies. So my plan was literally to fucking wait as long as I can. And then act like a fucking, I didn't know I was pregnant. I wanted to just wait it out. And time was fucking ticking. And I was so stupid. I didn't know about 
that I needed to go to the clinic, get my prenatals. I didn't know shit. I was so stupid. The day that my family found out, I didn't tell them. I was a coward. Um, well, my, my mom and my dad found out at separate times. My mom is a real one. Um, so I was in the um, living room with my dad. And my mom went out to our patio to smoke a cigarette. And she was like, hey, Asia, can you come over here? And I was like, yeah, what's up? And she pulls out the paper, my judicial bypass. And my fucking mouth, like, dropped. I was like, uh... She's like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I was like, should I lie? I was like... Should I pull the white kid thing and be like, why were you in my stuff in the first place? I was like, uh, and the only thing that I could say was, I was going to tell you. That was a big ass lie. I was like, mom, like, I'm sorry. I was going to tell you. She's like, are you fucking serious? She's like, you're pregnant. Like, that's the worst fucking feeling ever. That was the worst thing. Mm. Mm. And she was like, are you fucking serious? Like, your parents, like, they could be mad at you. Like, I've gotten my ass beat, like, millions of times. Like, <laughs> whatever. But them, like, just being so disappointed in you was the worst feeling ever. She's like, are you fucking... She was so mad at me. She was just going off on me. But, like, quiet enough so my dad wouldn't hear. And she was like, go the fuck inside. So, I went in the room. And I'm over there crying and shit. And my mom, my sister's just on her phone. You know, my sister's three years older than me. She's just a little teenager. Looking on her phone. My sister was a senior at the time. And um, she was like, your sister has something to tell you. And I was like, no, I don't. No, I don't. And she's like, what? What happened? <laughs> like, completely oblivious. And my mom's like, your sister? She's pregnant. And my sister's like, what? Are you fucking serious? Oh, what? And I'm just like... Like, my life, like, is in shambles at them. Like, the two women, like, my the closest women that are, like, closest to me, like, they freaking mad at me. And I was like, oh, my God. So, let me tell you how my dad found out, which is probably even worse. I don't know. I just gave, like, really... F I should have just told them, but, like, they had to find out really fucked up. So... I'm washing the dishes because I was the dishwasher in my house. That was my job. That was my duty. So one day I'm washing dishes. I'm wearing this big ass shirt. I'm washing dishes. And you know like when you wash dishes, the water will get onto the, the countertop. And it'll wet your shirt a little bit. You know? So I guess I was going in on them dishes because there was a lot of water on my, on my shirt. And um, of course since my shirt was wet, it clung to my stomach. And you could see, like, my stomach was, like, dome-shaped. And my dad was like, why is your belly so big? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I'm bloated. I don't know. I, I just fucking wrapped it up, and I fucking, I'm, like, walking to my room. And he's like, no, 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 come over here. Why is your belly so big? And he pulled it up. He's like, why the fuck do you have stretch marks? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm growing. And I'm, like, going to my room, and I'm just like, I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. And... Oh my god, it was the worst. And he was like, you see her stomach? And she's like, yep, yeah, I do. And I'm like, they're tag teaming on me. Like, what the fuck? So I just went onto my bed and I was just trying to turn around. And my dad was like, listen, like, fucking talk to me. When's the last time you got your period? And he asked me that like 30 times. That's He wasn't even asking, are you pregnant? Blah, 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 blah. When's the last time you got your period? When's the last time you got your period? When is the last time you got your period? When was the last time that you got your period? Um, after like the 30th time, I just turned around and I said, I don't know. And I turned around and I was going back and I was just crying. I was sobbing. And my dad just, there was like quietness and my dad just like slammed my door and he left. And then the next day we went to Planned Parenthood and, um, it was so bad. <laughs> we went to Planned Parenthood and we were waiting there and they're like, congratulations, you're pregnant. And I'm like over there with tears and shit like, thank you. I appreciate it <laughs> like not wanting to be pregnant and um I was I was spilling my whole life to them I was like yeah this is exactly when um it was a quarter to 12 like I was telling her exactly when I got my last period like I was 
you know, so they calculate it and they're like, yeah, it looks like you're about six months pregnant. And my mom's like, six months, six. And I was like, I'm sorry. I just felt like I couldn't talk to anyone. And like, that shit did not work. Like my parents were like, hell no. And they were livid. They were like, all right, well, you know, you're not going to keep your baby. We are going to give them to a family. I don't know what you were thinking, but we're going to see some families and we're, you know, the baby's gonna be put up for adoption like that's not an option they were like just yelling at me and stuff they were so mad and then like two days later i was just going to school regularly and then i came back from school and they had my favorite food like in the kitchen and they're like this isn't for you this is for the baby and i was like okay my mom she's like my biggest fucking supporter it's crazy like my mom is like so real she she was just extra mad. Ugh, fuck. Don't make me cry. I'm not trying to cry today. Um, my parents were just so hard on me. It was because they were teen parents, too. And they didn't want me to go through what they went through. They struggled really hard, like, being homeless and stuff like that. They didn't want that to happen to me. Yeah, like, a few weeks later, um, after finding out I was pregnant, obviously, I started doing my, um ultrasounds and stuff i went to the clinic it's like oh yeah i'm gonna find out the gender and stuff so i go there and first before anything they make you pee in a cup and then they test you and all that stuff so um they're like okay just wait in here while the doctor um is ready for you and then the nurse comes back inside and she's like um she's not pregnant and we're like what i was like really <laughs> And they're like, yeah, she's not pregnant. Like, her test came out negative. And my mom pulled down my stomach, my shirt, and she's like... She's fucking pregnant as fuck. Go take the test again. And they're like, okay, okay, I'm so sorry. It must be a mistake. <laughs> they go, and, like, I was definitely pregnant. Um, They had, like, switched it with someone, or they accidentally got the wrong one. But, yeah, I was, like, 100%, 110. So, yeah, they do the ultrasound, and, and then he takes a picture, and he takes a... He, like, draws a circle, and he's like, yep that's a girl and then I was like Ugh. and then my mom's just like okay wrap it up then wrap up the wrap up this ultrasound <laughs> and that's how I found out that she was a girl um and it's crazy because like after like as soon as I gave birth all that shit talking was gone my mom my dad everyone cried when my when alani was born like everyone fell in love with her aunt, like instantly even after i gave birth they were like give me the child you can go to sleep go bye like you could leave like we just want the child <laughs> yeah that's basically how i hid my pregnancy for so long um i hid my pregnancy for nine months or ten months from uh people that i knew and then um six months for my family she was like a month old and then i had posted a picture of her i reactivated my facebook and then i posted a picture of her and um everyone was like oh wow i didn't know didn't know you were pregnant oh my god wow oh my god like people were just acting like they didn't know everyone knew like which everyone do just before i go i just want to tell anyone again who's pregnant um thinking of getting pregnant um mostly the girls who are pregnant they don't know what to do because they're so young and they live with family please tell your family i have a crazy ass family and they found out and even though they were mad the first three weeks or month it's it's way it's way better to let them know because they're going to be your biggest support get those prenatal pills i didn't get prenatal pills until i was six months pregnant that's really bad and i'm so fucking glad that she came out with no complications i would except she ate her shit <laughs> Maconia, baby, nasty ass. <laughs> no um i'm just kidding she was perfect when she came out she came out with no health problems and you know even if you do take prenatals like that can't pre prevent anything like that but um I just look at it as a miracle that she came out perfect because I was really stupid and young and you know if I could go back and do it again if I had to do it again I would tell my parents the minute I knew just so I can get the best care during my pregnancy but I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video if you want me to do any other story times or 
advice or anything like that, just leave it down below. I hope you guys have a great day and tell your parents when you're pregnant.